we're going to start with the build of the uh, Mark 16, Mark 13, Mark 14, Spitfire, and uh, I'm going to follow the instructions. We're going to start with the interior. Now it says here that the whole thing is pretty much chromic green. They've got some black on the instrument panel and so on. So uh, yeah, first thing I do, I'm going to assemble all that. And then I'm going to paint it. Well, I'm going to paint it with a, a layer of this stuff. XF56, which is a uh, metallic grey. And then I shall put the zinc chromic green over that in uh, Vallejo. So the Vallejo zinc chromic green over that. So uh, this will allow me to do a bit of weathering on it, you know, tripping and such. Uh, yeah. So that's the plan right now. So uh, let's go. Okay, so there is the uh, cockpit all built up. Uh, it's certainly a hell of a lot more detail than I expected it would be, certainly for this scale anyway. And uh, yeah, almost as much detail as I'd <laughs> as I was expecting in the 124th Messerschmitt, but that's beside the point. Uh, right then, so I'm going to let the glue on that all set, and uh, I'll do a test fit into the fuselage later on when it's dried, and then I'll uh, paint it all up. That's the next stage. <laughs> so I just started with the uh, painting of this uh, thing. You can get it in focus. There you go. So starting with the uh, metallic grey inside the uh, cockpit. Bring in just enough. Because I took the time to remove a little uh, bit of a pushpin mark from this area here. Can you see that? Yeah, from that area there. And of course, a bit annoyed that uh, it's going to be covered up by the seat, so 
Yeah, there, there you go. Is that done? Something to hold onto this. Uh, what do I need? Here we go. Oops. So that's the uh, metallic grey over the uh, cockpit area. The thing is, you're not really going to see these things when they're inside the plane, but uh, yeah. So yeah, anyway, I'll do as much as I can, as much as I feel I need to, and go from there. See you in a bit. Okay then, so here we are. So I've uh, painted the interior, uh, done a little bit of weathering, nothing too harsh. Uh, same again with the uh, seat and control panel. Uh, put a bit of black on the control panel there. So considering it's not going to be very visible, I think that's more than adequate. <laughs> so I uh, wondering if I should color it a different paint it a different colour to match the uh, Rebel Squadron colours because the cockpits of the the cockpits of those vehicles are not chromic green so mm. I think I'll leave it like this and uh, and do the rest of it on the outside anyway here we go so I'll put this together there's also this little part here that one there so that's going to be what the propeller is connected to. The thing. Carefully put it into one side. Where are we? I've been trying to use up the what what's left of this. Uh, I left it slightly open and it uh, evaporated over time. Explains why I was getting headaches over the past week. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the new stuff. Hold that in place. That's going to be tricky. Yeah, I didn't realise this part was going to be so difficult. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Make sure that it's straight, trying to nudge it into place. Okay, then here we go. Test fit. Yeah, now that is a nice fit. Yeah, now 
that is a very clean fit I think you'll find uh, so possibly that is a bit big the uh, so perhaps I'll put a little bit of fill into that but uh, I think we'll be okay the rest of it just require a little bit of a uh, going over with the uh, sanding stick and we'll be cool we'll be good so just need to get the cockpit in now I've got to make sure that I put it in the right way and uh, first time I put it together I may have got it in wrong but effectively I'll find a nice pointy thing effectively these the back end goes into there so basically it fits against that line there that ridge there and that ridge there so before when we did it I thought it goes to to the back there but I was wrong goes into there like that So that side is in. Let's do another test fit to make sure that uh, it's located properly. That'll do. Gently press that together. Let it set for a moment. A bit too much glue there. <laughs> Right, that's good so far. Just make sure that this little thing is straight. Mm. Right, so that's that done. So I've got to say the uh, fit of the fuselage and everything has been it's very good so far so uh, looks like my uh, 9 out of 10 thing is a uh, bearing fruit bit of flash on over there just there so shouldn't take too much to get rid of that uh, I bought a new craft tool about a week ago may come in handy right now and uh, as luck will have it I can't find it anyway where did I put it? Is it still in the box or not in the box? <laughs> oh, there it is. So I've got one of these Citadel things. I'm getting rid of uh, just this sort of thing. So let's have a go at that. That works. Okay. Right. Next stage. 
So where are we now? So we've done the whole first page and uh, right down to the cockpit. So uh, yeah, we're going to leave it at that for the moment. Uh, next stage will be the uh, wings, which is, let me see, stage four, I believe. Oh, not the wings. I was wrong. <laughs> so engine exhaust assembly, wing assembly, and main assembly. So look forward to that in the next stage. Thank you.